Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this super quick tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can round the corners of every single image in your Squarespace website with one line of custom code. I'll also teach you how to remove this effect from any one particular image that you'd like to isolate using just a little bit more CSS. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you exactly how to set this up on your own website. Here we are in my Squarespace website. And if we scroll down a little bit, I do want to mention this tutorial will work for any version of Squarespace and any subscription level. IMG is a selector that applies to all images and we can add custom CSS for every single version of Squarespace and every single template out there. So whatever version you're using, this tutorial will work for you. Now, this is the code that we're going to use to curve the corners. I'm going to copy this code really quickly. And if we scroll down here, I wanted to show you I have a few image examples. I have a standard image block right here. This is a product block, and this is a summary block. Now, if we navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS, this is where we're going to paste this code. This code says IMG border radius 30 PX. I want a curve of 30 PX at every corner of every image. And check it out. Every single image has now been curved with that border radius. Now, you can use different values here, like 50% or 1 REM, whatever you're comfortable with. I like to use an absolute value so that the curve is going to be exactly the same. If we use something like 50%, that's going to look different depending upon the size of the image. That'll be 50% horizontally and vertically that those corners are curved. So we're getting different ovals here. Gus the pineapple happened to be a perfect square, so it's now displayed as a circle. Again, PX is going to eliminate that and you'll get the exact same curve on every image. Now, if you want to isolate one image and not have it curve, like let's say we want Gus to have those 90 degree corners, you can grab the block ID for that image. And after the code that says curve everything, add a new line of code, add that block ID and say IMG border radius zero. Because CSS stands for cascading style sheet, what we've just told the browser is curve the corner of every image, except for this one, set it back to normal. Pretty cool, right? I'll link to the Chrome extension that I just used to grab that information. It's a quick click and it gives me the block IDs for Squarespace. Not affiliated, just a fan. And it's linked in the description below along with this code that we've been using. Now I'm going to go ahead and press save because I want to show you two other pages on my website here. If we navigate to my main menu and I select pages, I wanted to show you that are all of the blog thumbnails curved now? Pretty cool, right? Let's go back and check out the portfolio as well. I have a portfolio page. All of these are curved. And inside these individual projects, any images on these pages are curved as well. That border radius is applied to every image across my site. But again, if I want to change one image and set it back to normal, all I have to do is grab that block ID. We'll navigate back here to our main menu. We'll select design. We'll select custom CSS. And because I already have border radius zero right there, I'm just going to add a comma. I'll add this block ID and say IMG. And now this one has gone back to 90 degree corners. While again, every other image has that curved border radius. Whatever you decide to change, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. Again, you're going to find that base code in the description below and definitely play around with using a percentage or a PX value, whatever looks great for your own website. Now, if this is your very first time using CSS and Squarespace, I would love to teach you more. I have a free class on the basics available right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Now stick around. I've got another video queued up for you. Here's what's coming up next.